Hey, this is John. Welcome back to Questing Phoenix, episode 56. So, I was looking through what you can get for fighting the Gaia Guardian 2, and one of the things you can get is a relic that makes, that removes the restrictions on the Flugel Tiara. So, that would mean we have unlimited creative flight, and that'd be kind of cool. Okay, I could just get rid of the jetpack entirely, which would be nice. I would, I would like that. So uh, we need to get a Gaia Spirit ingot, which is a Terra Steel ingot surrounded by four piece, four of those Gaia Spirits. We got plenty of those in the last episode, so I got enough to make one of those. And we'll use this to summon the new Gaia Guardian rather than the Terra Steel ingot. Uh, I've made some more potions, uh, you know, more absorption and instant health and re regen. I also made a Strength 2 potion. I was going to use milk to remove the withering effect, but it takes away all positive status effects. I don't really want that, so, and I couldn't find any other way to get rid of withering, just withering, so I figured we'll see what happens, and hopefully I survive. I did add Sweeping Edge to my sword. Now, Gaia Guardian 1 wasn't too bad. I mean, a long fight, but not too bad with all the prepping I did, but, uh, you know, Gaia Guardian 2 is supposed to be stronger and faster, so... Will it be worse? I don't know. We'll see soon enough. Got my bow here. Might try shooting him too, but I think he avoids projectiles like Endermen do. But we'll see what happens. Also have some uh, golden apples over here, so maybe I'll use those too. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Shift right click, summon Guardian of Gaia. And... here. Yeah, there's that withering effect I don't like. Wait, where are you? Uh, not so bad so far, I don't think. I could make that too, of course. Man, he just teleports so often, it's hard to land a hit on him. He's going down, though. him. Uh, oh, is that part? Yep, it's that time. Alright, hopefully Sweeping Edge helps me here with getting rid of more of these mobs at the same time, because he just spawns so many of them. Yeah, come on. Witches have to die first, and with the skeletons. Let's see here. Let's get this back. Uh oh. Okay, I really don't want to be poisoned right now. Okay. He's come back, so let's go fight him. Yeah, we got him. Cool, that wasn't too bad. But there we go, we got one of those dice of fate. Okay, I've got way too much stuff on me. Let's get my ender pouch. Start dropping some stuff. Ooh, we got the Dice of Fate. So, this is what we can use to get one of those relics. Wow, you just get so much stuff. A Will of Varag, I don't know what that's for. A Blacker Lotus, lots more Gaia Spirit ingots. Alright. I hate four runes of gluttony, I don't know where those came from. I guess they came from the fight, I mean, obviously, but, you know. Alright, I dumped some gunpowder in there, too. 
Yeah. All right. So let's go take a nap. And then we'll roll the dice and see what happened. Because, you know, I don't know what happened. That actually was not as bad as I had expected. I guess I didn't prep for the fights very well in the past, but that was not too bad. All right, so you get one dice of fate for each time you kill the guardian, and each time it will spawn one, exactly one, of the Aesir relics. It won't give you one you already have. Come on, Flugel Tiaric thing. Ah, okay, it, we got a ring, ring of Thor. Ring of Thor won't actually help us, so that's that's too bad. Ring of Thor um, will increase the range of the Terra Shatterer. So, hey, Enderman, go away. Go away. Yeah, you had your chance to go away. You should have clapped. Okay. Well, I guess I have to fight him again because you know we didn't we didn't actually get what I wanted. There's a couple other cool relics, but, I mean, really, that's the one I wanted. There's, uh, I don't know, one or two things I think is probably good, too, but I really have to get that. So, let's see here. I'm going to go fight him again and try for another relic. And once I get that, I'll come back. Okay, I think the these absorption potions were clearly the most important part of the fight. Because giving me extra health just really helped out. And absorption four, you know, extra, you know, hit damage, pretty good. Strength thing I think helped too. I don't know if it helped that much, but I think it helped a little bit to kill mobs quicker, so that was good. Instant health I didn't really use that much. I haven't, I haven't remade this potion either. T what was that? There is a skeleton in the, in my cobble farm. Stupid skeleton. All right, and yeah, this thing I used once. Maybe twice, but I don't think I played that big a role. It was mostly when I was poisoned by a witch. I just didn't want to make sure I, I counteracted that pretty quickly so I didn't, you know, get down to one Howard or something. All right, let's roll again. Six. Ah, oh, not what I wanted either. Ring of Loki. I don't even remember what, what the Ring of Loki does, but it's not what I want. It's supposed to let you place two blocks at once or, or more blocks at once. I don't know what that means. I guess we can try it. Uh, let's, let's, uh... Yeah, I honestly don't know what this is supposed to, is supposed to do. Hmm. Alright, well, maybe I'll go look that up. Alright, still haven't got what I wanted. I'm gonna try again. Okay, I want to change tack a little bit. I didn't know I had to fight him so many times. I guess I should have realized that. But uh, I keep coming back to make potions. Let's automate that instead. So, let's get another chest and a crafter. And possibly some conduit. There we go. So, let's, uh, where's my dirt rod? All right, there we go. There's that guy. Won't need any cable, I guess. I can just face this guy right into here. Just need to rotate him real quick. I want the force. There we go. All right, there we go. So now we have a new crafter for potions. You can drop stuff on him just like you can with, you know, everything else. Where's my shovel? Alright, so, I already have a way to automate these. I'm already making those by default. So let's see here. Let's go make some processing patterns. So there we go. We need an elf glass flask, nether wart, blaze powder, and glowstone. Yeah, makes a flask of vigor. Alright, and a flask of mending is all of these things. You know how to make that too. A flask absorption is all of those things. We need how to make that. And a flask of revitalization are those things. There we go. 
So yeah, let's take that off and put that and that in there. Okay. So let's go out there and place those patterns. And let's see if it works. I wouldn't want to do them there. Okay. So I have largely made <laughs> what I want right now, but Okay, I've got Absorption, I've got Strength, I've got Regeneration, let's make an Instant Health Potion. Alright, so I want the Instant Health one. Yep, that did work for that. I'm just gonna dump it over there. I'm pretty sure we can just ignore NBT and add these over here because it's a different item than the actual flask. So it shouldn't pick the flask up themselves. So because it wasn't filtered, pick that up. So let's go make sure it will do that. We'll need to do something with the, um... We'll need to make comparators, too. We're going to have to figure out what kind of a signal it puts out when it's crafting. Because that's going to be the difference here. You need to be a redstone pulse and search next set. And let's get a comparator. And let's get some redstone. Basically, I just want to see what kind of signal it puts out and when it puts it out. So, let's say I want another flask of strength. Uh, what's that one? This one? Yeah. It drops stuff. Oh, uh, it dropped the glowstone. This guy picked him up. We may need to move this farther away for that to work. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fix that manually just for a minute, and I'll think of a better solution later on. Okay, you are a power of one. Were you ever a power of two? Hmm. I'm thinking while he's crafting the power of one, when he's done the power of two, just like the um, this guy. So I want to watch this to see if it ever lights up. So let's craft another flask. Nope, you'll need you'll need glowstone. You won't. Okay, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be picked up. Did I, did I ask you to make some? Oh, <laughs> you're locked. Well, let's see if that's true. Hmm. I didn't ever see it light up, but I bet it is the case. Let me go see if the wiki says anything about this. Alright, I can't find anything that directly says, but I'm going to guess it doesn't go up to strength 2. And the reason is that if it did, it wouldn't make any sense for this to go. Because you need the strength 2 over here to let you know when to hit it with the wand. But you don't have to do that for this guy. I'm guessing he's just 1 when he's brewing and 0 when he's not. But we can still use that. Because all we need to do is get a pulse to go into the guy. So what I'm thinking is... I'd like to move him is what I'm thinking. Uh, 
could we do that? Could this guy be elsewhere? I mean, could I put him here instead? Or even here would be better? I could put the compare to there, then. Let's see if we can put him there. So let's do that. Okay. I mean, he's in that buffet, so he should use that mana pool still. I think that should still work. So now we'll take the comparator. And we're going to get a not gate from Ender.io, a not filter. Because I don't want it to be when he's crafting, I want it to be when he's done. So let's take some conduit. And as long as we have it so that As long as it changes signal strength, we should be okay. All right, so let's get the Yetta Wrench. And let's say you are an output on green and you are a not filter, meaning you should have a, a signal right now. And you are going to be an input on green. So, Right now, right now, we would be sending a redstone signal to him. And all we have to do is make it stop. So he will get the signal when this guy is done. Right now he's got a signal because he has nothing on, so it'll be a strength of zero. So this will be a not gate, so it'll be a strength of 15 here. And then when he's done brewing, or when he starts brewing, he'll have a signal of one, which turns the signal off. And then when he's done, it'll go back to, to zero, which the not filter will turn back into a 15. And that, I think, should work. So let's just make sure, and I'll have to fix this guy for not picking up glowstone for a bit. I'll just take that off for just a minute and we'll... I'll figure out a solution for that later. But let's brew like two flasks. Um, yeah. We'll ask it for one of these and one of these. <laughs> I moved it. He's the hopper. He's not in the right. The dropper's not in the right place anymore. Hang on. Okay, I've uh, moved things over. I moved it back where it was, so the dropper's over there now, and the crafter's over here. So uh, a little bit cleaner on the redstone wiring too, although it's going to have to be changed because this has to pick up glowstone eventually. But uh, he is set to redstone pulse mode, so let's just make a couple of flasks. So let's see here. That didn't quite work the way it was supposed to. So he didn't have a signal. And then he did. Hmm. Well, it still seems to work even with this. It it only do two at a time, so it's not quite what I want. I want it to be to be done. So I want it to be at a a pulse of zero. So I don't know how I would do that. Just got to think about that a little bit more. But I mean. If I do request, you know, multiple potions, he crafts one set, starts dropping the other one, it falls through, that's okay, it gets done, it crafts that set, 
It waits again. It falls through again. Crafts the next one. It does seem to work, even though it's not quite what I wanted. I might see if I can do better and make it only drop one at a time, but this basically works. All right. Back to fighting the guy, Guardian. See if I can get the Flugel Tiara thing. Well, after all that automation, I only had to fight him one more time anyway. There we go. Eye of the Flugel. So it's a relic. Do I need to put it somewhere? I need to put it in my... Nope, can't go anywhere. So that's fine. Didn't want to replace things anyway. But in theory... This should take away friction of the Flugel Tiara. I should have creative flight as long as I want now. I think, anyway. Those uh, things are disappearing. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens when I get closer to uh, running out of them. All right, getting close now. I haven't seen anything I can do with this thing to to stop it. I'm still flying. If I land, yeah, I can fly again. Okay, maybe that was uh, the bar before I got this thing. Yeah, I think with it, yeah. So there we are, unlimited creative flight. Thanks to the Flugel Tiara and the Eye of the Flugel. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button and the subscribe button. If you didn't, do that anyway, because it helps me out. And is it going to hurt you? I don't think so. And I will see you next time, if I think it's something else fun to do. If not, I will see you some other time, perhaps.